Hello everybody, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today we're going to be taking a look at Pale Rider, the first character in Gundam Evolution. This is a fantastic character, all around great abilities, and the best thing I can think of to compare it to is Soldier 76 from the Overwatch series. So, we're going to talk a little bit about his kits. First, he's got a machine gun. He's got 24 rounds, it fires really well when you are aiming down sights. However, if you are not aiming down sights, look at this, look at this. So make sure that you are always aiming down sights. If you're playing on PC, that's going to be by holding down the right mouse button while you are shooting. Look look at that difference right there. If I'm shooting aiming down sights, even from further away, I knock them out that quickly. But if I'm close and I'm not aiming down sights, just look how inaccurate my shots are. Secondly, we're going to be talking about another ability Soldier 76 has that is also present here. You have got this grenade throw. And this grenade throw actually goes a lot uh, straighter than you would expect a grenade to do. Usually you'd expect a grenade to drop quite a bit, but we stand all the way back here and we're aiming right at his head here and I hit the grenade button. Look at that, it hit him right in the center of his body. You can see that the grenades really don't drop much. We're also going to talk about one more ability here. Again, very similar to Soldier 76. If you hit the C button, you pull out your medkit. While you're standing inside of the medkit, it will heal you, it'll heal your allies, but one big difference, the medkit does have a health bar. Enemies can shoot it and destroy it. We've also got something that's entirely unique. I haven't seen this before. It's a slow effect. You've got this EMP. If you throw it down on the ground, it's going to slow down the enemies around you. And my personal favorite, the ult. Just, just watch how much damage you can do with this ult. Hades. First thing it's going to do when you activate, it's going to reload your clip. Then it's going to make you deal 1.6 times the amount of damage you're dealing before. And look how fast these reloads are. This right here is such an amazing ability. This one, this ult can absolutely turn the tides of battle. All right, let's go ahead and get into some actual gameplay. In the beginning of the match, I try to establish ownership of the high ground. This gun works great at medium range, so the high ground is a very good place to hold. When I drop my medkit, I make sure I drop it down a slope or behind a wall. Otherwise, the enemies will target your medkit and destroy it very quickly, and then it won't be any use for you. When I'm pushing enemies, you'll often see me throw out my EMP. It's kind of a way to do a little bit of zoning of the enemy. I know that if the enemy runs into the EMP, they're going to get slowed down a lot. And even though I say you should always be aiming down scopes when you're fighting, if you're right next to an enemy, like, you know, within a couple feet of them, you probably don't want to be aiming down scopes in that situation because when you are aiming down scopes, you're zoomed in and it makes it a lot harder for you to angle your view. In this situation here, I'm just kind of holding that choke. I threw an EMP into the choke. If somebody decides to push through, they're going to get slowed down. They're going to be destroyed by my teammates. So I take this guy down. I finish him off. I'm fighting with this guy a little bit. Things are going well. And then a second one shows up. This is not a good situation. I probably should have gotten out of there sooner. But we all make mistakes. Hades, in my opinion, is the best ult in the game. Just look at how quickly you can just take out the entire enemy team with that. There, there was only like two people there. Unfortunately, I feel like I wasted it. So now, again, I'm just watching their spawn. I'm making sure that they can't come in in too big a force. Again, when I drop that med kit, I drop that med kit behind a wall, down a ramp, somewhere where they can't hit it. And I use that EMP again for zoning. It's very important that when you're fighting, you, you keep an eye on your health. In, in a lot of games, it's not that big of a deal if, if you die. In this game, a lot of times you have to run back from spawn from a very far location. So in this game, you really want to make sure that you're prioritizing staying alive over taking out the enemy. This area right here, I actually got right next to the enemy's base and I was able to take them out as they were coming out of the base. I think this really shows just how much range this gun has. That guy was way at the other end of the map and I was still able to finish him off with my gun. Again, I get Hades, a kind of questionable time to use it. I thought there were going to be more enemies here. There weren't. Probably should have held on to it. But again, look how quickly Hades can be used to just take out all the enemies that you encounter. It is it is just the best ult. Again, when I drop my health kit, I drop it behind a wall. And then I can just pop out and take out the enemy. When Barbados is fighting you, this is exactly what you do. You keep your range, you take your time, you aim for the head. And if Barbados gets close, you just boost backwards. Do not let Barbados get close or he will win the fights. Again, that EMP is fantastic for disengaging. Just drop it on the ground as you're backpedaling and they won't be able to push through. I kind of messed up here. I actually got wedged into the wall by the enemy. I didn't know that could happen. 
uh, he had me physically body blocked in and I couldn't get out. So again, we're really seeing that medium range of this gun here. Uh, when enemies are out down there and you're up on the high ground, you can really do a lot of controlling. So try and find a position like this where you can really maximize the damage that you're doing. If you can get behind enemies, just look how quickly you can clean that up. And then again with the Hades, you're going to see just how quickly Hades can shred the enemies. Got that one real fast as he was trying to get back to his spawn. And right now we're just kind of locking them into their spawn. Not giving them too much of an opportunity here. And then I disengage when it's clear that I'm not going to be winning that fight. Again, ownership of the high ground, medium range, works perfectly. Alright, here's a Barbados. This Barbados doesn't appear to be particularly good. Uh, he doesn't really know how to be using his abilities properly, so he was a pretty easy cleanup. And I'm just hanging out near the health pack. Don't want the enemies to be able to get it, but I also want to make sure that I can quickly jump on it if I do take damage. And that's it. So again, to sum up, this is an amazing character, a lot of amazing abilities. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.